In this video, we're going to take a look at eye features and why they are important to our design purposes. Now, an eye feature is a group of 3D modeling data and sketches that we can easily place into repetitive designs. In this particular case, I have a simple plate where I've added a few eye features. Some of them are also very simple, such as an ob round and an end mill slot, but some of them are also a little bit more complex, such as the cone shape and the locator that's on the center of that face. Now, just looking at that locator, you can see that it would not be created by a simple single extrusion or single revolve or fillets. In fact, the sketch has also got some engineering design intent behind it. And to make that repetitive, we turn it into this eye feature, this grouping of data that we can place in whenever we want for consistency. Not only do eye features help us create repetitive modeling routines, they also allow us to keep consistency across our company so that one or two people don't modify this in different ways. It's a unified method of creating that particular type of feature. Now we will find our eye feature tools on our manage tab and on the insert panel. Here I can find the insert eye feature command, which by choosing this, you'll see it will look for a certain type of extension. The extension for an eye feature is an IDE. And this is normally located outside of your workspace. These are typically found on a server where everybody can access them. We can also place an eye feature via pull down and get a visual list of ones we have available to us. Once an eye feature has been placed into our design, we will then see it in our tree on the left hand side. They can be very unique feature names, such as the end mill curve, the cone, and the semi sphere cut, or they can be generic by nature. Overall, eye features help us do a lot of nice repetitive routines of modeling geometry. If you say, wow, I'm modeling this thing 20 times a day or 20 times a week, and it's really the same type of feature set, but it has a little bit of variation to it. And that's where these eye features really come in handy. If I want to modify something like my locator there, I can say edit eye feature, much like we can most other tools inside this software. And when we choose edit, we can modify the values. Here I'll change my height from 10 millimeters to 20 millimeters. And when I finish that, I see it's a little bit taller, but it still maintains my integrity of what I want that feature to be. 